Sam, hate speech found in a Cleveland community over the last couple of days. Flyers left in driveways and sidewalks. Their messages are vile and speak to the worst in people. Our Harry Boomer and his neighbors were victims. So who better to report on this than Harry himself? Harry? <laughs> Good. Harry, Harry, happy. This made his day, man. It was, it finally, like, finally, thank you, Jesus. But sending me some hate speech flyers, man. I get to be a victim. He, don't cry, Harry. It's Harry. Who thinks Harry's gonna cry, man? He might, I got, I got, I got Harry holding it together, man. He looked like a, he looked like a stand-up son. Well, Brian, I was leaving for work yesterday. I saw a piece of paper in my driveway. I stopped, picked it up, unfolded it, and read it. I got to tell you, I instantly became outraged and vowed not. Yeah, you outraged, but it's like fucking 200 murderers walking through your fucking community. Like literal, like savages. You, you got every fucking 90% of the murders in your community is unsolved and shit. You talking about you worried about some damn flyer. Not here, not now, not ever. It's a shame that they in 2024 that you still have this racist attitude. Robert has lived in hell for... No, it's not. I completely understand why people are racist. <laughs> I completely understand why people don't think y'all some goddamn monkeys. Press one. It's completely <laughs> understandable. You're, you're actually stupid if you can't, like, and I'm not saying you got to agree with them. I'm not saying agree. Okay, you understand what I'm saying, Jay? Yeah. Just understand. You know what I'm saying? Right. Can you sympathize with like how somebody could be like, yo, these are some fucking apes, man. You, you don't know who produced it. I, you know, it might be some uh, mischief maker. Might might be the Southern Poverty Law Center. Yeah, man. I'm talking about I just these racist attitudes still exist. Yeah, you damn right. Y'all some y'all like. Listen, let me go to the Cleveland Gun Memorial, man. Let me get back to this in a second, man. Nah, you got to look up an uh, area called East Cleveland, man. That got to be the worst part of the city, man. That neighborhood is terrible. And it's like nothing but abandoned houses, man. Like, for real, it's Who bad. live over there? Who lives over there? My, uh, my auntie stay over there. My parents actually grew up over there, but they moved like a long time is ago. It black man. people or white people who live over there? Black people. Look at this. Cleveland, Ohio Gun Memorial. The mistake by the lake. Look at this. Just look at that, man. Oh, uh, Stephen Cool, man. <laughs> Stephen Cool got killed, man. Uh damn, man. What happened to Stephen Cool, man? Um he, no, he just dead. They ain't got no nothing on him. Uh, Look at this, man. Look at all this, man. Look at this. There's a cop, too. Yeah, cop. You know who killed him. Um, I'll put those links in the back chat, too, uh, for, for that murder of that girl. Okay. Look at this, man. Look at this. Naraya. Naraya. 15. 15 years old. The 14-year-old suspect turned himself in. 14. Jesus. Yes, this is why people think y'all some goddamn animals, monkeys. This city, what is Cleveland? What's the what's the what's the demographic in Cleveland? Do you know, Jay? I mean, mostly black and we got Puerto Ricans. You say it's mostly black? Yeah, and we got a lot of Puerto really? Ricans here, too. Really? Yeah. Uh, Were a lot of the there. jobs chased out of... No fault. No, go ahead. Weren't a lot of the jobs chased out, like the factory jobs and things of that nature chased out of there? Yeah, yeah. We used to have, like, a lot of factory jobs and stuff. A lot of them, you know, left. Uh... Yeah, I got three hundred and 
62,000? Damn. That's crazy. I thought it was more people there. That's a small population. Okay, yeah. So 46% black, 38% white, and uh, wow. Don't say that about no burritos. A lot of white people there, man. 70% on burritos, they on the way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Wow. Um, shit. Uh, so y'all got a lot of white people there and white, a lot of black people. Though, but everybody on this, I, I don't see a lot of Puerto Ricans on this government war either. Here go one, I think this might be a Puerto Rican. Um, he was shot. Uh, yeah, the Puerto uh, Ricans mostly be on the west side. And then the blacks like be on the east. Most of the people on this thing must most of the people on this government war from the east, man. <laughs> Shit. This bunch of fucking Negroes, man. God. Oh. 13% Hispanic. 13% Hispanic? Okay. Yeah, y'all some awesome. Whew. It's all Negroes, man, on the gun memorial. All of them. That one, L-O-Z. Hmm? L-O-Z. Oh, this little kid? Got, yeah, it's only a kid there. Seven. He was shot in the Fulton neighborhood. Yeah, that's the West. Wow. You, you look at this. This this gun memorial, like literally, is 46, what, 48% black, 46% black, but like 95% of the gun, the fatal gunshot victims are black. And who knows how many of the non-fatal ones are black. Look at this, man. Nothing but a bunch of niggas, man. Getting killed up here in Cleveland. And they whining about some goddamn flyer, man. They need to put more flyers out there, man. Right. <laughs> they need to fucking open up a Kinko's in fucking Cleveland, man, so people can make more flyers, man. The fuck is going on over here, man? Okay, Sam, hate speech found in a Cleveland community over the last couple of days. Flyers left in driveways and sidewalks. Their messages are vile and speak to the worst in people. Our Harry Boomer and his neighbors were victims. So who better to report on this? Harry himself. Harry? Well, Brian, I was leaving for work yesterday. I saw a piece of paper in my driveway. I stopped, picked it up, unfolded it, and read it. I got to tell you, I instantly became outraged and vowed, not here, not now, not ever. It's a shame that they, in 2024, that you still have this racist attitude. Robert has lived in Huff for five decades. These days, it's a mostly black community on Cleveland's east side. He's disgusted by these leaflets left in our neighborhood. I found four of them myself at or near my home. I went straight to the Cleveland Police Department to file a report. It's Mary Vincent. How are you, sir? I'm gone. They see a murder, they don't say shit. They see a carjacker, they don't say shit. And if they speak to the news, they got their fucking face concealed. You know, somebody leaves a fucking racist pamphlet, and them motherfuckers march right into the police station. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody scared to put their name, their face on the news. You niggas are trip, man. I wish somebody would come like if they did in World War II and just drop them pampers from a helicopter or something all over you niggas. Rain them shit down, you goddamn apes. Okay, I just got the news from my the chief of police. You all up okay? Yes, sir, I'm doing okay. I, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, in the neighborhood now, canvassing. I guarantee you, this wasn't no white person that did this shit. I guarantee. No, I, it, it couldn't have been. It couldn't have been. I don't see it. It couldn't have did, been. Did you see the one that says "say no to Nazism"? 
Yeah, the, I listen. I guarantee it was it was either a Sun or a Juice Crew. Either Sun or Juice Crew. I'm leaning towards the Sun. I guarantee you, this wasn't no white person did this. In my years of doing this, in my eight years of doing this, man, there have probably been like two real race incidents that I've covered like this. The rest of them have been hoaxes perpetrated by black people. Everything. Hey, it's Chief Todd with the Cleveland Police. How are you? Chief, how are you? Good. I care about this community. It's good to see the city and the police department care too. And they got right to work. We're gonna try and see if there's any video footage or anything we can locate. Um, as far I hope there is video footage of them niggas throwing these pampers around. As you know, who placed them there? Who you know is responsible for this? Um, and we take these matters extremely serious. Okay, I appreciate that, Chief. They found two flyers. Yeah, just the no. only thing they take it right. serious. Detectives from the third district also knocked on lots of doors, talking to residents about this form of hate speech. Being a Vietnam vet is it's sad. It's real sad that you fight for this country and you still have hatred. Each one's message. And if you came back from Vietnam in 1970s and it's the first thing that happened to you since then, nigga, you... <laughs> Yo, black people got a warped sense of proportion, man. Press one. For this country, you still have hatred. Each one's message worse than the others. All right, let's see. Let's read these shits, man. And tell me, say no to Nazism and socialism. At least some white liberals did this shit, man. Say yes to patriotism and Americanism. Wake up, white America. Trinity white knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Twenty-first century soldiers of God, if you can't join us, support us. Why would they drop this off in a black neighborhood? That's somebody. I believe this group really exists. I believe this group um, probably here. This group, uh, Trinity. What are they? Trinity. Um, whatever the fuck they called. Um, mm. There you go. Trinity White Knights of the Ku Klux. That might be a real chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. But I doubt that they fucking put these in their fucking neighborhood. I bet it's some fucking somebody got a hold of these. I'm, I'm going to follow up on this. I'm going to follow up on this. Each one's message worse than the others. These flyers are not what they seem. They ask people. Don't fall victim to senseless crimes. Always be aware. Hey, that sounds like good advice, man. Shout out to the KKK, man, if y'all really did this, though, man. That's, that's really, you try, they trying to, they trying to save people, man. Shout out to Jim Sefton from across the pond, man. We, we big in England, man. Um, Alexander Byrne, we huge over there in England, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, salute to you, man. Um. Activism. Yeah, this is activism. Yeah, these activists, man. People to either join or support the Trinity White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. It's an intimidation tactic. <laughs> and it is not working. My emotions and my feelings about that, I really do, because uh, I got a few years. If the white man would have never invented this thing, Negro, you would have been an African man. They'd have been fucking, they'd have blew some goddamn ashes in your face and hit you upside the head with a tree branch to make you make whatever wrong with you go away. The white man that created this fucking thing that fucking put oxygen in your body, man, you should be happy, man. You fucking ungrateful goddamn Negro. 
niggas would have never came up with no shit like this. This probably added decades to your life. Yes, on me. And I've been through some of this years and years ago. Uh, I didn't approve of it then. I don't approve of it now. Why come down here? Donald remembers when this community was known as Rough Huff. Today, is everybody down there old, man? What the fuck? Yeah, it's an old Donald. community. My church down there, actually. Okay. I felt so something similar from uh, June last year in Kentucky. This makes me think that is fake even more. Because why would they? Why wouldn't they drop these in a in a in a community where crime happens? Truth where there is night. crime. Trinity Tr White Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. You looked them up. Kentucky based offshoot of the White Supremacist Organization. Um, I think it, I think it might be genuine. Actually, it's a small group. Similar similar leaflets. Okay, yeah, that's probably a real leaflet, but anybody can make a copy of them and go to Kinko's. That's a good idea, so we Remove all filth from school libraries, two gender policies, and the presence and the presence of men in the, the girls' room. So you telling me a, a white supremacist group from Kentucky drove up to Cleveland and of all neighborhoods decided to drop their their um recruitment flyers no, off of this neighborhood. No, 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 it's it's um it's, it's got a good message, but it's just it's it's not what they say; it's the way they say it. You know? Yeah, this is this is uh, this is attacking uh, the gender the gender lobby, demolish the idea of turning our, our young men into queers. Yeah, I, I think you'll agree with that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't approve of it then. I don't approve of it now. Why come down here? Donald remembers when this community was known as Rough Huff. Today, people in this part pull together and look out for their neighbors. Yeah, I've been here 44 years. He's been there 50 years, and Paulie been out there about 30 years. <laughs> you know, hey, we, we all get along. The message these friends want to make clear, there is no spirit of fear here, and we realize we are stronger together. Do you feel any less safe than you did yesterday? Uh... At the moment, no. no. Hell no. Thank you for being honest. <laughs> you don't feel no fear for this shit. I'm glad he was. I'm glad he didn't lie, man. My phone ain't be worried about this shit, man. Free speech. My neighbors and I can live with that. This kind of racist material, well, it should not and will not be tolerated. Remember the words of the song America the Beautiful. America, America, God shared his light on thee and crowned thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Hey, you got to look at it. You got to look at East Cleveland. They, they, that's really a Democratic yeah. shithole, man. They terrible. Who? East Cleveland, man. That's the worst part of the city. East Cleveland. Hold on. Let me do this video. Um... Um. <laughs> the first, the first one is of her. The second, I believe, of course, they uh, look, they caught the suspect. The second one is okay. <laughs> oh man, he's not in, not in, not in, not, 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 not. Uh. Salute the um, salute the 